Let's talk about $5 billion. Isn't that below where it's been trading in the private market? It's right around where it's been trading, Katie, in the private market, but it's a notable haircut to, compared to where they raised cash back in 2021 at about a $10 billion valuation. Then we had been reporting in 2022 that they could be eyeing $15 billion. So it does seem like Reddit, along with a number of other technology companies, would-be IPOs are kind of coming to terms that they aren't going to be able to the, do to man the valuations that they had back in 2021 when the market looked quite different for technology companies in particular. So Bailey, like you said, you have been covering this potential IPO for years at this point. Why has it taken so long and what are the ingredients that got us to a potential March listing date? Well, the broader IPO market really has been shut since, call it, late 2021, when the Fed kind of signaled that they were going to rapidly hike interest rates, and that kind of soured the mood for investor risk appetite. When you look at Reddit, there are a lot of questions around their growth, ability to monetize their users, continue to grow their user base in terms of monthly active users. So when you look at a company like this, you've been battling with valuation and expectations from both the buy and sell side. And as we see the IPO market, market IPO window start to creak open, it does seem like Reddit will be one of the companies that investors and analysts are closely watching, again, with a key focus on valuation. If it's in that $5 billion range, mm -hmm. does that reset the table for the likes of Turo and other companies? Yeah, it will be fascinating, the ripple effects there. But to your point that maybe the window is starting to open a little bit here, what has the reception been like from investors who are actually receiving these newly listed companies? It's been mixed, Katie. So when we look back at the end of last year, all eyes were on Birkenstock, a sour IPO, but back above that IPO price. Arm has been up about 40% from its listing price. So far this year, we've seen a few companies, uh, Smith Douglas Homes, a smaller home builder, rallying after pricing its IPO. Ads did CG Oncology, a biotech focused on the cancer space. But on Friday, at the end of last week, we did see Bright Spring, a KKR-backed company, price its IPO below the marketed range, trade down about 15% in its opening session. So it does seem mixed. All eyes will be this week on Amr Sports, the company that makes Wilson uh, products and a number of other things like Solomon Skis and Scott Solomon Ski Boots. That's going to be the big bellwether for the month of January. Another consumer name, kind of like Birkenstock, that will maybe tease out whether investors want to pay up for brands and companies they know and understand as we march towards, again, the likes of a Reddit, a Turo, a Databricks, some of those bigger companies that could be waiting uh, for that march into the summer uh, window.